there beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys decided to watch today's video. Um, I think my last upload was telling you guys a little bit about my med school journey and letting you guys know that I was going to thoroughly integrate that into my channel. As you guys can see, you probably don't know this, but this is a new space for me. I have finally moved to the city that I will be um, in for medical school and this is my very first ever in life big girl apartment. I do have a roommate, but we are both really excited to, you know, start this journey and because of that, you know, I was going to be very intentional about how we kind of set things up because we both want to live really healthy lifestyles um, in terms of food, exercise, studying, socializing, like we want to have I guess you could say our cake and eat it too. And I thoroughly believe that God is going to allow me to have a really good work-life balance while I'm in med school. And so I wanted to create this video showing you guys my pantry essentials and how I'm organizing my pantry just so you can see how I'm going to keep and maintain things while I'm in medical school. My environment, how it looks, is a really good reflection of my mental state at that point in time. If you guys are interested in this content, then keep on watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with someone, okay? So I'm just going to begin by letting you guys know what my what I think are pantry essentials. Um, I know that you guys are probably looking at this side and you can see all of my seasonings. I just want you to know that your girl likes flavor in her food. But I'm going to start on this side um, with these items here just so you guys can see what I think are essential, especially for you know living a sustainable lifestyle. So here you're going to see um, reusable produce bags. So they're made from mesh. And I ordered them on Amazon, and I really like to purchase produce, obviously, when I go to the grocery store, so I thought that these were going to be really useful, and I didn't have them before because I was living with my parents for the last six months, and then I was in college, and I didn't care that much, but I do think that it's important, you know, to reduce our plastic use. So, in the same vein, I have these reusable Ziploc bags, which I think they're silicone um, plastic bags, Ziploc bags, and I think that these would be great in the freezer. I like to freeze things like freeze my fruits and vegetables that I'm going to use for smoothies. I rarely finish a pack of meat when I buy it, so putting them in these reusable bags and putting them in the freezer I think will be really good. Here, I have vegetable oil. It was in this moment that I realized this video was too long. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter what seasonings I have, I just think that everyone needs seasoning. You will notice one thing that I have no iodized salt, so you know that's like the regular salt, and because I'm trying to be more conscious of my sodium consumption. So there are two seasonings that I really like to have in these little cracker grinder things, and that's pepper 
and salt. So I've been using a lot of pink Himalayan salt, which I love. This is from Trader Joe's. This grinder is really good and it, you know, this to me is saltier than regular salt, so I don't have to use this much either. And then I just wanted to get into sea salt, so I just bought a sea salt grinder also. Sea salt, everyone knows is salty. If you've ever had water in your mouth on the beach, you know that sea salt is salty. Seasonings that I got from Walmart, all of these ones from Walmart, the great value ones, were less than a dollar. So Italian seasoning, chili powder, cinnamon, which I like to put on my sweet potatoes, garlic powder, okay. Then this is curry powder. I don't really care that it's organic, but it is. Um, this is paprika. Guys, my hands are ashy, I'm so sorry. And I got this from Aldi. This was also less than a dollar. And this is cumin. Then this is chipotle seasoning. And this chipotle I bought because I am determined to crack um, chipotle's secret recipe on their chicken. I have tried so many of the basic recipes that you see online, but it just doesn't taste the same. And this made me really close. If you didn't know, chipotle is actually dehydrated jalapeno, so it's really spicy, so you want to use that less. I'll get to those. And then these are seasonings. Most of these are going to be from Trader Joe's. Um, 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's. This smoky turmeric, which I think is really good. This has salt in it, um, but I got this from H-E-B, I think. It's really good. Regular turmeric, which I use for anti-inflammation things. Everything but the bagel seasoning. I got this one from Aldi because I wanted to try it, but I have been eating the one from Trader Joe's. Um, this is vegan chickenless seasoning salt. I'm not vegan, but I do have like a weird combination of like paleo, vegan, add chicken, fish, you know, type of diet. So I wanted to try that. My refill of everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. Chili lime seasoning blend from Trader Joe's that I use for like tacos. I mostly use this whenever I'm making like a taco type of thing. So because I like to use chili powder, but that has chili and limes. So I don't have to use fresh limes. Um, sesame seeds that I add for crunch in my Asian style foods. And this is new for me. Everything but the elote seasoning. If you've never had elote, which is just corn. Um, yeah, you really need to try that. Um, this, the only con about this is that this has cheese in it and I'm currently dairy free. It's really hard for me not to eat cheese. So we'll see. I'll try this at some point. This is a new seasoning for me as well. This is furikake. It has sesame seeds, nori, which is seaweed, which is nice and salty, has salt and has cut powder. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be like a crunchy, salty seasoning, which I'm a textures type of girl. I like to eat things based off textures and I love crunch, so that's good. I got some nutritional yeast for that fake Parmesan taste. And then these two seasonings, I wanted to wait to show you guys because these seasonings I actually bought in the bulk section at Sprouts. Um, so this is crushed red powder, which I could have gotten from the dollar store. I could have gotten from a lot of other places. Um, but I wanted to buy it and put it in this jar specifically because I got this jar from the dollar store and the seasoning from the bulk section. And I just want you guys to know that you don't always have to buy all the seasonings that you want. Like this right here is garam masala. Sometimes you have seasonings that are that you need for a specific recipe or that you just don't use all the time. And so what I would recommend is that this came in a two pack, these uh, glass jars. Buy these glass jars from Dollar Tree. Buy your bulk seasoning, which this was 30 cents to fill this jar. And this was like 20 cents to fill this jar. Buy your bulk seasonings if you have a sprout in your neighborhood, sprouts in your neighborhood, and fill these up. Like you can save so much money on seasoning because seasonings, again, are not cheap, which is why I have some of these like cheap ones. And then also in my pantry would be cornstarch, Cajun seasoning, Tony Satcher's. This one's called more spice, so we'll see how that one tastes. And then I call this Maggie, but they're Nor Cubes. And this one is actually soy free, but there are um, kind of chicken bouillon cubes that have soy. So you, make sure you check the ingredients when you buy things like this. Okay, so that kind of finishes for my condiments, my seasonings, my sauces. I don't snack on nuts and stuff, but two nuts that I like to have in my pantry are cashews and almonds. I don't have almonds right now, but cashews and almonds I like to have. I typically make my own almond butter, and then cashews I use for like creamy things that I want, like dairy-free creamy things. 
And then here, I think everyone needs to have dry beans. These two beans that I had back here are actually two variations of Nigerian beans that are really good. This one's called Olo beans, and this one's called Oloin beans. And then here are the rest of the essentials that I think everyone needs in their pantry. So everyone needs some tubers. I know some people put onions in their pantry. I don't. Mine are in the fridge. But some tubers. So I have two sweet potatoes and a regular potato. Some oats. I like old-fashioned Quaker oats. Um, this works well for me. Um, almond flour, coconut flour from whenever I'm like low carb. And then this is new for me, Birch Bender's micro pancake mix. Um, I have a waffle maker and I'm really excited. So this is actually low in calories. And then granola, cause I like to make acai bowls, smoothie bowls all the time. I eat a lot of parfait, so granola is really essential for me. And then this is my second time trying this. This is chickpea crumbs. I didn't want to buy regular breadcrumbs. I think chickpea crumbs are a low carb alternative. So you can see that they're about 83 calories and you can look at the carbs, there's 10 net carbs, so. And then bread, everyone has bread in their pantry. I don't eat bread fast enough, so. This bread um, is the Sara Lee Delightful Bread and it's kind of smushed. I bought this bread because I eat a lot of bread. I don't eat bread every day, but I eat a lot of bread. And so I like to have low calorie bread when I do that. And I just put it in the freezer. It freezes pretty well. Then everyone needs to have pasta in their pantry. So I have bonza, penne, pasta. Anyways, um, I'm trying a vegan mac and cheese for the first time. So I bought this day one. I actually hate all day cheeses, but I just wanted to see if this was, would be good. So you can see it's gluten and soy free, dairy and lactose free, has a lot of protein. So this should be good too. Then everyone needs rice. I don't eat rice that much, which is why I have these small packages, which are going to last me a long time because I'd rather eat cauliflower rice. And then brown rice if I run out of cauliflower rice, honestly. So I have brown jasmine rice because I don't want to buy regular rice because I don't know how to make brown rice. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And then um, brown sugar. I would have bought regular brown sugar, but they didn't have any, so I bought live brown sugar. And then, again, I don't have... Okay. I don't have regular sugar. Um... I don't drink coffee, but I'm about to start. So if you put two Splendas in your coffee and a little bit of creamer, like this coconut almond creamer that they sell at Sprouts, I tell you, your coffee will be delicious. Tortillas, sorry, I have to. Tortillas are, um, these are my choice of tortillas. So I always buy these. These are low carb, low calorie um, tortillas that I really like. They are a little bit chewier, I guess, than regular tortillas, which I only just recently discovered, so honestly, it's not that bad. And then I always like to try one other brand of tortillas. So I've had the Mission Carb Balanced Tortillas before, but these ones are plant-powered plant as well as um, low in carbs. So these are also 70 calories for tortillas, so really excited to try these. So that concludes it for the pantry essentials portion of the video. So these are the jars that I purchased to organize my pantry, but not all of these are going to go into the pantry actually. Some of them are going to be on display on the counter. These two bo bottle things that say vinegar on them, I'm going to put oil in them. I bought them from the dollar store, so these were good. They came with these little lid things, and they're all upside down here because I just washed them. Then this here, this glass jar, with this is the lid for it so you can see it's transparent. These two I bought from Hobby Lobby, which I'm really excited about. This is another glass jar, but this is the lid. So I'm just gonna show you guys the lids because the lids are what make them different. Um, that I'm going to use for a candy as a candy jar. And then one, two, three, four, this one's a little bigger. I also got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and they're like your standard tall glass jars. Um, that I'm gonna put things like flour and things like that. So let me go through the prices. These were $1.50 each. This was also $1.50. This was $2.50, $2.50, $2.50, $3. Then these, you know, you see the airtight glass jar thing part of it? Okay, I got two of them from Hobby Lobby for $3. Then I got this one from um, Home Goods for $3.99. I actually bought two from Home Goods, but the other one broke. So I got these baskets. These, so these ones are a little bigger. But I got these two baskets and these two baskets from Walmart. Mainstays, both. So this came in a two pack, this was less than a dollar. And then each of these were 96 cents. And then this wired tray bin thing, I got this from the dollar store. I wanted to get this for more texture in the pantry. My bag clips are from Marshalls and Home Goods. I like these, I think these are cute. Then these two bins, which I also really like, I bought these from the dollar store. And then I have three Lazy Susans. This one I got from Trader Joe's, I mean not Trader Joe's, TJ Maxx, this clear one I got from Trader, um, from TJ Maxx. 
and then I have a 9 inch diameter one which I also got from TJ Maxx. So this one was $5.99, the one below it I think was $2 or $3.99. And then this one I got from um, Walmart and it was $7.99. It's, it's just really big and I didn't realize that. But I'm probably going to put my seasonings on one of these because I have three and I don't need three. I don't think I need three. So if you guys want to see how I organize my pantry, keep on watching. My phone died in the middle of the process, but here is the completed organization. So there go my oils, my baking products, and here you'll find my seasonings. I put them on a lazy season, which love that for me. Um, these are the seasonings I use the most, and then these are some of the specialty ones. And then the pantry. So I have toilet paper, I mean paper towels in here. I don't mind the oatmeal being in this jar. There you have it.